Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this video, we are going to see uh, the concepts behind uh, custom uh, model for uh, displaying the J list with the image icon. In the left side picture, if you see, we are uh, hosting a J list control and we are displaying the items with uh, uh, text as well as uh, image icon so this requires uh, creating a default uh, list model and list cell renderer so we will use our uh, custom uh, model to display the list items uh, with uh, image icon so in part two we actually do the coding here we will learn the concept behind uh, what we are going to do to display the JList with image icon. Here you will lay in a default list model and list cell renderer. So AWT playlist is optional, but this will definitely feed you some information and make your life easy while learning the swing tutorial. This video uses JFrame window as well as JLabel with the borders. So uh, we would advise you to watch these two videos on this uh, playlist. And if you know the concept of displaying the frame window and how to display a JLabel with a, a border, uh, you can skip watching these two required videos. Otherwise, we would advise you to watch these two first. So first we will create a class called fruit model items. So each list J list item is represented by this class fruit model items. So this will supply data for each J list item. So at runtime it will supply the fruit name that will be the label uh, we display to the item. Then we will also supply an image icon. So one list item constitute of these two information. One is a fruit name, then the icon we want to display with the uh, list item. Next we create one more class called fruit model. This fruit model extends from the Java API's default list model. So the default list model contains a useful method called add elements. Using this, so using this uh, default list model, we can supply the data to the runtime. So with add elements, what we will do? We will create instance of this fruit model item then we will give it to the add elements so if we have seven list items we will use the fruit models add elements to add those seven items so the model will supply all the seven or eight uh, j list items and each item will hold fruit name as well as icon so our fruit model will be ready at this uh, time. So this fruit model will act as a data model for our uh, J list, supplying the data at runtime. So in the next video, what we will do, first we will create this uh, fruit model items. Then we will implement our uh, fruit model. There is one more interface which we need to implement that takes care of rendering the uh, 
data so rendering the data means in the ui we will display the data data means the class instance that contains uh, label text as well as image icon i mean string text and the image icon so the interface is so the interface is a list cell renderer it will force you to implement the contracted function so the gate list cell renderer component so this is what we need to override this is a contract function for this list cell renderer interface so at run time you will get jlist instance here next you will get an object if you see here this object is the one so in the previous slide we created a fruit model i mean we talked about a fruit model that extends from default list model so then using the add element we added fruit model items so this instance contains a two member one will represent the name of the fruit and another member will supply the icon so at run time what happens when we override this method it will get the object value that means it will get the it will get the instance of fruit model items as parameter here so if our j list is containing for example let's say three items for each item uh, the j list framework will make a call to this get cell renderer component method so it supplies the list instance as well as it supplies the object value which is the item linked using the add element method so through add element method we actually add the fruit model items so that's what we will get here the fruit model item let's say one that's what you will get here we will also get the current index of the uh, list item so this one tells the whatever item it is calling this function let's say we have a three item right one two three let's say here uh, user selected this item and focuses on this item third item so is selected that means if uh, the method is called for a second item the is selected will be set to true similarly if this function is called for the third item so this member tells whether cell has the focus so for this item if you see the cell has a focus that means the list item has focus but it is not selected so for item 3 we will get false here and we will get true here so when you override this get list cell renderer component we will get all this parameter and we can use this parameter to uh, paint the components or uh, to paint the individual list items so far we discussed about three one is uh, fruit model items that contains name as well as icon this is a class instance then fruit model that extends from default uh, uh, list model and using the add element we will add uh, uh, we will create instance of these fruit model items using the add element we will create instance of these uh, fruit model items and we will add it to the fruit model so once this is done when uh, uh, we implement the interface list cell renderer on a different class uh, for each uh, jlist item uh, the interface 
contact method get list cell renderer component will get called there we can actually perform painting operation for each list item and we can return the painted component so remaining java api will take care next if you see we create a one more class called fruit model painter and we will extend this from jlabel so the fruit model painter since we are extending it from jlabel our fruit model painter is actually a jlabel so we will also implement list cell renderer which we saw in the previous slide so once we implement the uh, list cell renderer we will be overriding the method we know that we will receive uh, um, jlist object and index then is selected and has focus so we can use those information to render the component so what we will do since our uh, fruit model painter is a jlabel um, first we will uh, display the jlabel with icon and text string so for this reason only we asked you to learn how to display jlabel with the border as part of the prerequisite so we will use the same concept here then as part of this rendering we also take care of uh, changing the jlabel's background so why because when our list item is uh, displayed um, we need to show which list item is selected so the selected list item will have a different background compared to the normal uh, list item so for some item we need to set our focus rectangle also so this, let's say item one item two item three item one is selected that means we need to show that with a different background color then uh, some item is uh, having the focus so we need to draw a border around it to show that the uh, particular item is in uh, focus so that's all uh, finally we will uh, return our jlabel since it is a this itself a jlabel we will return this after doing all this so what happens at runtime uh, for the jlist when we are creating the jlist we will give our model as well as a renderer once we set this the swing framework will make use of our model and renderer so for each let's say each one is a list item for each list item it will make a call to the contracted function get cell renderer component so the cell renderer component in our case is a jlabel that means a fruit model painter which extends from jlabel and jlabel since it's a jlabel we draw a icon here then we will place a text icon and a text so the object which we receive here as a second parameter so we already discussed about this uh, interface in the previous slide so the second parameter will be the object right so this will supply the data that means it will supply the icon and uh, string which we added using the add element method of the uh, default list model all right uh, that's all here in the theory part now in the next video we will start writing the code so the demo in the next video will go in the following order first we will create the fruit model items that will 
contain uh, two part of the information one is the string and another one is the icon next we will create a class called uh, fruit model which will uh, derived from default list model and we use the add element method to hold instance of these uh, fruit items that means if we many items so if so if you want to display eight items we will create eight and instances of fruit model items and we give it to fruit model by calling the add element method next we will create a fruit model uh, painter uh, the fruit model painter if you see that extends from j label that means each component here or each list item here is a j label then we will extend i mean we will implement the list cell renderer which will force us to uh, override the guest get list cell renderer component method and in that method we will do all these tasks so this is the order the next video goes finally we will see how it works so this example will help you understand how you can create your own list model here if you see we are extending from j label right so you are not restricted to j label you can derive from any component say you can create your panel with a lot of drawings in it then you can use that panel here then finally return that then each list item is seen as a uh, class that is derived from channel uh, j panel with a different rendering capability here we are using the simple j label uh, it, this is just to give you an idea of how do you create your own uh, uh, J list, I mean, uh, uh, own rendering model for the J list item. So, if you derive a panel, your list item can contain some something like this. You can create each list item which will hold an image and then a small icon. After that, uh, three or more row of text with uh, different uh, font and other settings or this can be a label or this can be a text box like that you can even create a complex model and add that as a single list item because it's a j panel right? you can create a complex ui layout and supply that as a uh, single list item Alright, that's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.